everyone, I'm Sarah. If you haven't taken my class uh, before, I'm here to guide you through about maybe the next 45 minutes of your practice today. Um, I am here in Dallas at my parents' house, um, so we got uh, a good view here. Sorry, I'm a little bit dark with the sunset on us a little bit, um, but you'll still be able to hear me and you'll be able to see my shadow, which is good enough. Um, so for class today, um, I'm not sure if you can hear, but we got some reggae music going on. Um, in our house all afternoon. Um, so my intention for class is just to make it feel good. So any options that I give you, go ahead, make it feel good in your body, do what you need to do. Um, I want us to have fun today. So we'll be moving pretty quick throughout class to kind of uh, match those reggae vibes. Um, so if you need to take breaks, go ahead, do it. Um, it's totally up to you. I just want to have some fun today. Um, but with that, let's get started in child's pose. Bring your big toes to touch at the back of your mat. Split your knees out wide and start to lower your torso down to the floor. Walk your fingertips out in front of you. Drop your forehead down to the floor. And just start to breathe here. Taking deep inhales through your nose. Big open mouth exhale. Take another inhale through your nose. Big open mouth exhale. Sigh it out. Take one more inhale through your nose. This time seal your lips. Exhale through your nose. Ujjayi breath. Start to engage that closed mouth breathing. Use this breath throughout class to build heat in your body. Continue to breathe at your own pace, whatever feels comfortable. Press down through your palms. Send your hips back towards your heels. Get a little bit deeper in your child's pose. And start to crawl your fingertips over to the right side of your mat. Press your left hip towards your left heel. Side body stretch to the left. Breathing into that space you're creating on your left side. And crawl your fingertips back to center and over to the left. Side body stretch. Feel that on your right side. Right hip presses towards right heel. Gently warming up. Bring your hands back to center. Stay here for one full cycle of breath. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, tabletop. Stack your shoulders over your wrists, your hips over your knees. Press down through the tops of your feet. Spread all ten fingers out wide. Inhale, cow pose. Drop your belly. Send your gaze forward. Exhale, cat pose. Arch your spine, look back towards your navel. Inhale, cow, sink your belly, pull your shoulder blades together. Exhale, cat, arch your spine, press the mat away, open through your back. Inhale, cow, drop your belly. Exhale, cat, keep moving through your cow and cat, taking any movements that feel good to you. Maybe bend it out side to side. You can roll wrists, hips. Stretch through your feet, your Achilles, whatever you need. You've got a few more breaths here to play around. And return back to a still tabletop in four, three, two, and one. Tabletop. Start to crawl your hands forward, moving down into puppy pose. Lower your elbows down to the mat. Send your chest to the mat. Maybe your chin comes down, maybe your forehead. Keep your hips lifted, feeling the stretch of the side bodies through your shoulders. Begin to press back up into your tabletop. Take a second here just to reset. 
plant down through your left palm, inhale, sweep your right arm high, exhale, thread the needle, scoop your arm through, drop your right shoulder, drop your right ear to the mat. You can keep your left palm where it is, maybe it feels good to crawl fingers forward, always have that option for your half bind, left hand comes around your low back, reaching for your right hip crease. So let's begin to replant through your left palm. Inhale, sweep your right arm high. Exhale, tabletop, return back down. Taking that to the other side. Inhale, sweep your left arm high. Exhale, thread the needle, drop your left arm, left shoulder, left ear down to the mat. Same options on this side for your arm variation. Moving where you need to go. Plant through your right palm. Inhale, sweep your left arm high. Exhale, tabletop. Inhale, tuck your toes. Exhale, downward facing dog. Press your hips up and back. Start to pedal it out. Bend through one knee and the other. Make this fluid. Move as much as you need to. Open up through your hamstrings. Keep all 10 fingers spread out wide. Pressing down through your first finger and your thumb. Biceps spraying your ears. If you have to keep a bend in your knees, that's okay. Working to send your chest towards the tops of your thighs. Come back to a still downward facing dog. Inhale, three leg dog, send your right leg high. Go ahead, bend your knee, stack your right hip on top of your left, scorpion your dog, and maybe start to make circles with your leg your knee, your ankle, opening up through this right hip. Coming back to a still scorpion dog. Three square your hips, three leg dog. Drop your right foot down to meet your left. Moving to the other side. Inhale, three leg dog, left leg lifts. Exhale, scorpion your dog, left hip stacks on top of right. Circle out through your hip. Knee, ankle, match what you did on the other side. Keep pressing down through both palms. Shoulders stay squared in the top of your mat. Inhale, three leg dog, square your hips. Exhale, downward facing dog, drop your left foot next to your right. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, ragdoll pose, step your right and your left foot behind your hands, hip width distance apart. Keep a generous bend in your knees, drape your torso over your thighs, release the crown of your head down towards the floor. Letting gravity lengthen through your spine. It's a windy day in Texas here, if you can't tell by my mat, not cooperating. Maybe grab for opposite elbows and swing from side to side if that feels good. You can also interlace your hands behind your head. It's a little different sensation in your back. You can release your fingertips down towards the floor. Toe feel your feet together to touch. And on a slow inhale, rise up, stacking one vertebra at a time, head and neck last to rise. And relax, hands down by your sides, Tadasana. Inhale, pull your shoulders up to your ears. Exhale, melt them down your back. One more time. Inhale, lift. Exhale, roll your shoulders down and back. Inhale, mountain pose. Sweep your arms high. Breathe here. Press down through your feet. Engage your legs. Pull your belly button into your spine. Drop your shoulders down away from your ears. Inhale. Exhale, baby back bend, goal post your arms, send your chest to the ceiling, gaze to the ceiling, pull shoulder blades together, rock your weight forward, inhale, rise back up, mountain pose, exhale, forward fold, hinge at your hips, release your fingertips down to the mat, inhale, halfway lift, fingertips in line with your toes, 
more on your shins. Find your flat spine and breathe. We're holding here for a few breaths. Focus on your form. One long line of energy out through the crown of your head, through your tailbone. Pull shoulder blades together. Open through your chest. Take one more inhale. Exhale, forward fold, release down. Inhale, mountain pose, root down, rise up. Go through that again, moving quicker. Exhale, baby, back bend, press your chest to the ceiling. Inhale, mountain, rise tall. Exhale, forward fold, hinge all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift, flatten your spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose, root down, rise up. Exhale, side body stretch to the right. Drop your right hand, lift your left hand up and over. Holding here, feeling that stretch in your left side. Inhale, rise back up. Exhale, side body stretch to the left. Drop your left hand, lift your right arm up and over. Keep pressing down through both of your feet equally. Inhale, rise back up, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold, ride your breath down. Inhale, halfway lift, flat spine. Exhale, forward fold, one more time through. Inhale, mountain pose, root down, rise up. Exhale, side body stretch right. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, stretch left. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose, root down, rise up. Exhale, open arm twist to the right. Right arm back, left arm forward. Press your right hip forward. Pull your left hip back. Hips square to the top of your mat. Chest square to the side of your mat. Gentle spine twist here. Inhale back to mountain center. Exhale, open arm twist to the left. Press your left hip forward. Pull your right hip back. Chest opens to the side. Energetic out your fingertips. Inhale back to mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Hinge all the way down. Release your feet, your hands rather. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, one more time. Inhale, mountain pose, root down, rise up. Exhale, open arm twist. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, open arm twist left. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, forward fold, hinge all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift, listen for the change. Exhale, squat and curl, bend through your knees. Heels to your glutes, forehead, down towards your knees. Curl into a tiny ball here. Maybe challenge your balance. You can grab one arm around your shins. Maybe the other follows. Squeezing, compressing your internal organs here. Plant it back down through your palms. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step your right foot back, runner's lunge. Plant down through your right palm. Inhale, simple twist. Send your left arm high. Hold and breathe. Keep your back right leg active, straight leg. You're on the ball of your right foot. Pull your belly button in your spine and twist your torso open to the side. Slowly drop your left hand down on the inside of your left foot. Keep your legs exactly where they are and sweep your right arm high. So you've still got your runner's lunge leg. Your arms are like an extended side angle. Deep hip flexor twist here. Keep that back right leg as active as you can. Extend out through your right fingertips and release. Drop your right palm down. Hands frame your left foot. Step your left foot back to meet your right high plank. Inhale, shift forward one inch. Exhale, low plank. Elbows pin into your sides. 
inhale, upward facing dog. Lift to the tops of your feet, four points of contact, feet and palms. Press back, downward facing dog. Walk it out. Inhale, three leg dog, send your right leg high. Exhale, runner's lunge, step your foot between your hands. Plant down through your left palm. Inhale, simple twist, right arm extends high. This time, engage through your back left leg, straight and strong. Right shoulder stacks on top of left. Gaze can go up towards your right hand. Think about squeezing your thighs together towards the center to help with your balance. Slowly release your right hand down on the inside of your right foot. Legs stay exactly where they are. Left arm lifts up towards the ceiling. Later on, we'll have the opportunity for a bind in our side angle. So warming up here. Squeezing thighs, keeping them engaged. Drop your left palm down, palms frame your right foot, step your left foot up to meet the right and return back, squat and curl. Release your fingertips down, straight through your legs, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Sink your hips. Send your arms high. Hold and breathe. Rock your weight back into your heels. Lift all your toes. Maybe you can wiggle them out. Maybe you sway, start dancing to the music. For three, two, and one. Release down. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high to low plank. Your version of your flow. Know that you can always drop down to your knees. You can add extra push ups or skip it completely. Whatever you do, I don't know. I'm not there walking you. Inhale, three leg dog. Send your right leg high. Exhale, runner's lunge. Step your right foot between your hands. Drop your left knee, untuck your left toes. Inhale, kneeling crescent. Exhale, interlace your fingers on top of your right thigh. And start to lunge forward, taking some time here. As we move through this sun B, holding for a little longer in our first time through. Enjoying the stretch. Inhale, rise back up, kneeling crescent. Exhale, pull your palms together. Inhale, shift. Exhale, twist, kneeling crescent. Now stay down on your knee right here. We'll have the chance to intensify a few breaths as a class. Open your chest, keep pushing your left elbow to the outside of your right knee. Use that leverage to get deeper in your twist. Begin to tuck your left toe and lift your left knee. Now we're in a high crescent with a twist. Challenging your balance. Squeeze your thighs together. And rise up, crescent lunge on your inhale and hold for your exhale. Sink deep into the lunge. Challenging your strength in your quadriceps here. Biceps bring your ears. Inhale, exhale, warrior two, spiral your back foot down, tee out your arms and sink into your front knee. Maybe you play around a little bit. You can bob in and out. Gaze over your front right middle finger. Inhale, shift your torso forward. Exhale, side angle, drop your right arm, lift your left. 
you can rest your right forearm on the top of your right thigh. Maybe you drop your right fingertips down. And we're here for a little bit, so maybe you play around that half bind. Drop your left arm around your low back. Maybe it's that full bind. And if you don't have a strap at home, and you can't quite get the bind, you can always use a towel. You can use just random things you have around the house. We have uh, at the Tui household a random seat belt that my dad has tied into a lasso, as he calls it, for his strap. You start to unbind if you're in one, coming back into side angle. Inhale, stargazer, straight through your front leg, drop your left arm, lift your right arm up, and breathe, finding some relief in that right leg. Press down through your right heel. Feel that lengthening in your right side body. Gaze up to the ceiling. Take one more inhale. Exhale, windmill your hands down to frame your right foot. Step back, high to low plank. Chaturanga, Vindasana. Meeting back, downward facing dog. Taking all of that to the left side. Inhale, three leg dog. Take your left leg high. Exhale, runners lunge. Drop your right knee, untuck your right toes, inhale, kneeling crescent, exhale, interlace your fingers, enjoy the stretch. Inhale, rise back up, kneeling crescent, exhale, drop your palm, inhale, shift forward, Exhale, kneeling crescent twist. Right elbow hooks on the outside of left knee. Work on opening your chest. Keep pressing through your palms. With every inhale, find length through your spine. And every exhale, try to twist a little deeper. Tuck your right toe. Start to lift your right knee, high crescent with a twist. Firing up your legs here. One more full cycle breath. Inhale, crescent lunge. Rise up slow and in control. Biceps frame your ears, settle in and breathe. Hips are square to the front. Inhale. Exhale, warrior two, open to the side. Lengthen your stance just a touch. Maybe you bounce a little until you settle in. Gaze over your front left middle finger. Inhale, shift forward, exhale, side angle, drop your left arm, lift your right. You could stay up on forearm or take that same arm variation you did on the other side. Maybe it's a half bind, maybe it's a full bind. If you're in your bind, think about opening your chest to the right side, drawing your right shoulder back and over your left. Maybe your gaze can go up. Just try to prevent yourself from dumping down into your hip. Start to release any bind, return back to side angle. Inhale, stargazer, straighten your front leg, lift your left arm, drop your right, hold and breathe. Find relief in your left quadricep, press down through your left heel. Inhale, exhale, windmill your hands down, high to low plank, chaturanga, dadasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Press your hips up and back. Take a big inhale through your nose. And a big open mouth. Exhale, sigh it out. Another inhale through your nose. Seal your lips, exhale through your nose, ujjayi breath. 
One more time through our sun B. Breath to movement. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward, fold, step, hop, float to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward, fold. Inhale, chair pose. Hold for a breath, exhale. Inhale. Exhale, release, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high to low plank, chaturanga, dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, three leg dog, send your right leg high. Exhale, runner's lunge. Drop your left knee, untuck your toes. Inhale, kneeling crescent. Exhale, move right into your twist. Stay here for a full breath. Inhale. Exhale. Tuck your toes. Inhale, rise up. Hold for a full cycle breath. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, stargazer, straighten your front leg, lift your right arm. Exhale, high to low plank. Chaturanga, Nandasana. Meeting back, downward facing dog. One more side. Inhale, three leg dog. Send your left leg high. Exhale, runner's lunge. Drop your right knee, untuck your toes. Inhale, kneeling crescent. Exhale, right into the twist. Full cycle breath, inhale. Hold for your exhale. Tuck your toes, inhale, high crescent twist. And hold for your exhale. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, shift. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, stargazer, straighten your front leg. Exhale, high to low plank. Chaturanga, Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Start to pedal it out here. Breathe, gather your breath. From downward facing dog, we'll move right into a chaturanga push up and press back into our downward facing dog. We'll do five of those before taking a little bit of a break. Take an inhale, big exhale. Start to shift forward and lower down into your chaturanga push up, and then press back up, downward facing dog. That's one. Moving through it again, lower down, elbows pinned in, press back and up, that's two. Rock forward, lower down, press back up, that's three. Two more, inhale, lower down, exhale, press back. Last one, keep it going, press back, downward facing dog, inhale, look forward. And exhale, drop down to your knees. Tell off, grab some water. And then find yourself in a child's pose. a few moments to come back to that breath, come back to that intention that we set, doing what makes your body feel good, having some fun. We're slowing it down just a little bit, still keeping that movement though. We'll move into some balancing poses. Whenever you're ready, press back up into your tabletop, tuck your toes, Press back, downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Make your way to the top. 
Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain pose, root down, rise up. Exhale, Tadasana, drop your hands down by your side. For our balancing, we are gonna start with a one leg mountain. Root down through your left foot. Your left leg is your strong, straight standing leg. Begin to lift your right knee in line with your right hip and your biceps come to frame your ears. Flex your right toes up towards your face. Creating two 90 degree angles with your torso and the top of your thigh and then the top of your thigh and your knee. I guess three with your shin and then your foot. Inhale. Exhale. Start to hinge into warrior three. Straighten out your right leg. And then rise back up into your one leg mountain. So we're moving in between one leg mountain and warrior three. As slow as you need, as fast as you can. Keeping your left leg straight this entire time. Test yourself if you can keep your biceps by your ears. Maybe you have to tap down your foot like I just did. No big deal. When we go and start to move in these balancing poses, we really test our muscles, we intensify the balance. And one more time, find your warrior three. And then come back up one leg mountain. And then release right into your tree pose. Your hands can come down to prayer at heart center. Right foot can come to the inside of your right ankle, calf, thigh. Maybe it's just a kickstand on the ground. Your left ankle should be on fire. Mine definitely is challenging those muscles. We're working them longer than they usually go. For three, two, and one. Release, awesome, awesome job. Shake it out. Give your left ankle some love, maybe circle it out. And then we'll move into our other side. This time, we're down through your right leg. Strong, straight, standing leg. Inhale, one leg mountain, and hold here. Spiral your pinkies in towards center. Really engage your arms. Flex your left toes towards your face. And think about your core here. Pull your belly button into your spine. Use your muscles in your core to help hold your leg up and to help you through these transitions. Take an inhale. Exhale, make your way, warrior three. Slow and in control. Try to level out your hips. And then rise back up, one leg mountain. Keep moving. Going as slow as you need to. You're not racing. Last warrior three. And then rise up one leg mountain and fall right into your tree pose. Left foot on the inside of your right leg. Standing tall here. Lift the crown of your head up towards the ceiling, up towards the sky. And release, hands down by your side, shake it out. Move out through your right foot. Walk back up to the top of your mat if you're not already there. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, high to low plank, your last one of class. Make it your best. Inhale, upward facing dog, broaden your chest. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, 
inhale, three leg dog, send your right leg high. Exhale, scorpion your dog, bend for your right knee. You can hang out here. If you'd like to flip your dog, go ahead, find wild thing, press your hips up, send your right arm back. Slowly turn it back over into your three leg dog. Everybody square your hips and send your right foot through the space, fall in triangle. Your right foot drops down, lift your left arm up to the ceiling. Replant through your left palm, keep your legs where they are, and just lower your hips down to your mat. Working on a stretch on the outside of your right leg. You can stay up on your palms, or maybe you lower down. Keeping your left leg extended to the back. Begin to press back up through your palms up through your left toe and press back up into your fallen triangle and then re-extend your right leg, drop it back down, downward facing dog. Inhale, three leg dog, send your left leg high, exhale, scorpion your dog, stay here or flipping your dog. Returning back to center, three leg dog, re-extend your left leg high, exhale, fall in triangle, extend your left leg out, lift your right arm. Replant through your right palm, and then lower all the way down to your left hip. I was playing around with this earlier, it's a lot easier when you have socks on and you're on a hardwood floor. You need to lower down, maybe, if that feels good. Begin to plant through your palms. Tuck your right toes. Lift back up, fall in triangle. Then extend your left leg back up, three-leg dog. Exhale, downward. Facing dog. Inhale, three leg dog, send your right leg high. Exhale, half pigeon. Drop your right knee behind your right wrist. Walk your left toes back. If this doesn't feel good in your body, you can always flip around to your back, find a reclined figure four. If you're moving on, start to slowly lower down one forearm at a time, keeping your chest square. Breathing into any tension, any tight muscles here as we wind down class, tuning back in with how you feel, making sure you work any areas that might need some extra love. Plant back through your palms if you're not already there. Tuck your left toes, lift your left knee. Inhale, three leg dog. On your exhale, just shake it out. Bring some blood flow back. And drop your right foot down to meet your left. Inhale, three leg dog. Send your left leg high. Exhale, half pigeon on the left. Drop your left knee. Untuck your right toes. Square your hips and your chest and make your way down one forearm at a time. So 
ankle and begin to press yourself back up to your palms. Tuck your right toes, lift your right knee, inhale, three leg dog, send your left leg high. Exhale, drop your left foot down to meet your right. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, drop down to your knees and then flip around, lowering all the way down to your back. We're here for the rest of class. Stretching it out, taking it slow, finding some twists. While you're down on your back, keep your eyes open, finding an active Shavasana. And just let your spine melt down to the floor. Lower your shoulders down. Keep your left leg where it is. Pull your right knee into your chest. Interlace your fingers around your right shin. Right side when you're moving, pull your right knee in towards your shoulder. Find that pinch in your right hip flexor. Release your grip. Grab for the outside edge of your right foot. Maybe your ankle or your calf. Right side happy baby. I like to take my left hand and keep it on top of my left hip just to make sure it doesn't pop up. Right knee comes to the outside of your rib cage. Pull down on your foot. Keep that left leg long down on your mat. And release. Keep a hold of your right knee. Pull it back into your chest. Exhale. Supine twist. Cross your knee over your body. Tee out your arms. Gaze over to the right. Both shoulders stay down on the floor. Grab a hold of both of them. Give them a quick squeeze just to reset. And then we'll change out our sides. Keep a hold of your left leg. Lower your right leg all the way down to the mat. Interlace your fingers around your left shin. Left side when you're moving. Hold straight down on your shin. Almost like someone is standing on top of you, pressing down. And release your grip. Take your left hand, grab for the outside edge of your foot, ankle, calf, right hand comes to right hip. Happy baby on the left side. And release. Keep a hold of your left leg. Hold your knee into your chest one more time. Cross your knee over your body, supine twist. Gaze over your left shoulder. Bring your knees back into center. Give yourself a squeeze here. Pull your forehead up to your knees. Contract into a tiny, tiny little ball. Take one more inhale. Exhale. Final Shavasana. Extend your arms down by your sides, your legs down. Find relaxation in your body. Unclench your jaw. Remove the tongue from the roof of your mouth. Lower your shoulders down. Find your natural breath. As you lie in your shavasana, start to bring your thoughts to maybe that intention, thank yourself for showing up today on your mat. Thank your body for all the great things it did. Remember to always have fun with your yoga practice. 
always do what makes you feel good. I'll leave you here in your Shavasana. Take as much time as you need. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. My most sincere namaste.